I punched myself in the face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's what's going on here. I've been playing a lot of video games as per usual, and typically I always lean towards the range damage dealers. Been playing a lot of Overwatch, my boy Hanzo just lobbing some arrows in from a distance. I'm on fire. That's where you'll find me on the weekends. It wasn't long before two of my passions, video games and uh, airplanes, began to collide inside of my brain. So today what we're gonna do, I got this here bow and arrow that I got from Walmart for $20. And what I'm going to attempt to do is turn my arrow into an arrow plane. And I'm going to launch the arrow plane from the bow and fly it back and around. It's gonna be like a glider. I'm thinking like a DLG bow and arrow plane. Let's do it. Boom. Never dry shoot a bow. Check it out here, I got both of my wings. This is going to be my main wing. This is going to be the elevator here. Put a little bit of dihedral in here, glued it. I used a nice little barbecue skewer as a spar. Trying to keep it as minimal and as light as possible. I don't know anything about gliders, but I do know that heavy planes don't glide as good as light planes. So this is just kind of a proof of concept. I wanna see if I can get this thing to glide, do a couple chuck tests and we'll see how it works. I'm going to just be clobbing the wings onto the fuselage. You can see I already have a support there. Kind of try to figure out the CG and then we're gonna go test it. Let's do it. All right, what you got there, bro? I made a plane. Version one is complete. I call it the T-Tail Aeroplane. <laughs> da, da, da. All right, so I learned a lot here, guys. Um, my main goal was to make a plane that balanced perfectly just by putting the foam on the arrow. And as you can see, I failed to do that. <laughs> so I have some nose weight of some random miscellaneous knickknacks on the front. Okay. We got a screw and a nut and a washer and a doodad. The idea was with this wing and this T-Tail to get it up off of the arrow, that way, when it's sitting on the bow, nothing would get caught on the bow when it launches off. So I got a barbecue skewer for the support. I think the CG is pretty good. If anything, it's on the nose heavy side right now. Geometry, I did my best even though I just eyeballed it. We'll see what happens. Here it goes. Three, yep. two, one. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah, bad, dude. Bad, no, bad. <laughs> it never gets old, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you about this. You take a piece of random trash that you otherwise would throw away and you put it together in such a way that it defies the laws of gravity. I mean, it's, it never gets old. Equally as gratifying, if not more gratifying, every time you do it, I can't get over it. Next step is we are going to put this on a bow <laughs> and launch it into the sky. Let's do it, let's go. Oh, it feels, it feels like a finished product. They're like in Skyrim stealth mode right now. I feel like you should shoot it with the wind because I think you're going to have enough thrust and too much drag is going <laughs> to... <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> yeah! I'll take it. Dude, that works. I'll take it. A little underpowered. Three, two, one. Oh my get it, god. Get there, yeah. Dang. So that was interesting. It seemed like it was a little nose heavy because it glided for a little bit and yep. then it went yep. straight down. Is it, in my opinion, a success. Yeah, especially considering the wind. It's like 15 plus mile an hour wind out here for my little aeroplane. Once it has control surfaces, it's gonna be oh. to a whole new level. Whole new level. Now, one thing I noticed, I learned a lot with V1, but I'm also wondering if we're going to need a little bit more firepower. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this Walmart bow is gonna, is gonna cut it, especially if you're trying to do some long distance flying. Lion, you know right. if you want to go out to the trees it'd be nice if you could get like similar performance to that of a dlg right but i know those planes cost like thousands of dollars and my plane costs like 20. 25. <laughs> <laughs> so back to the drawing board v2 we're going to sort them some things out maybe use a longer arrow that might help and possibly even add some control services let's do it Version two is well underway. I made this here right angle. I made this here really floppy wing. It's gonna need to do something about that, but I'll figure that out later. But for now, what my thought process is, I'm going with a V, cause like the weak point on this old one was the T-tail, just the glue joint right there, obviously is gonna be the weak point and it falls off just like that. I have this V modular system, VTEC, just like my Honda, it's V technology. 
And the VTEC is gonna be right there, connecting to the dihedral wing. Next step is I gotta figure out a tail. I, I'll probably do another T-tail, but I might do a V-tail. You never know. V-tail could be cool. I don't know anything about V-tails. A little bit longer shaft this time. So we're gonna get glob number one going, glob number two. We're gonna glob these things together, and we're gonna take it out, we're gonna fly. Let's do it. All right, so V2 is coming along. I got stuff glued, I just blobbed it on there. So we have the V supports here, which turned out rather nice. Went with a V-tail this time. Again, I don't know anything about V-tails, but we'll see how it turns out. Josh had the brilliant idea because I made these big old floppy hot dog wings. So Josh had the idea of taking more aero shafts and put it on the leading edge, which will add strength, but also help take care of my CG issue. And now, as you can see, it appears to be balanced somewhat responsibly. Let's go do a glide test. Glide test. Okay, I feel like it's gonna tip down. Let's find out, ready? Oh my gosh! <laughs> what? Hey, that was better than expected. Try again. Oh <laughs> man, that is nice. You know, something special about throwing gliders with you, man. <laughs> Sports. <laughs> Oh, what handed she, wing grabber. She cuts through the air like butter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now I might need your help because I'm going to put uh, just three channel V-tail control. Okay, cool. One yeah. channel. Uh, two channel. Two yeah, channel. So no v yeah, L, 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 uh. <laughs> V-tail. V-tail. V-tail, dude. dude. Adding control surface, adding RC, and we're shooting this thing from a bow and arrow. All right, so it has been done. Honestly, this is a pretty fun little build. These little arrow shafts are actually pretty useful. And I actually went to use a carbon fiber boom and it turns out this was lighter. And I'm pretty sure this is carbon fiber too or something along those lines, but uh, this definitely was the best. This is a little bit longer. I believe it's a 31 inch arrow. So I got two servos running a V-tail mix. I have rudder and elevator. So it's just, and then the dihedral will keep it self-correcting. I got an ESC in there that's just dangling. Oh, this is the Kit Kat bat from Hyperion. Yes. We call it the Kit Kat bat. I believe it is a 550 okay 552 cell but it doesn't matter i just needed the weight cool thing is is that i could take some of this crap off the front and put a motor on there i already can tell that i might have too small of a bow for this aeroplane <laughs> safety first here oh hold on with your elbow dude you got strong bows <laughs> ready yeah dude all right bow and arrow test flight one commence version two prototype 2018 ready steady fire <laughs> it went about 10 feet. You could throw it further. You could throw it farther than that. That's the most anticlimactic thing I've ever had happen to me in my entire life. Well, see, common rule of uh, the ancient sport of bow and aeroplanes, number one rule of thumb is that you never want your bow to be smaller than your plane. You yes. want to fix that? So, if we, I think we have a solution for that. Dang! Yeah, dude! All right, so let's bow, see. Long bow. Let's see, the rule of thumb is you want your bow bigger than your wingspan. Oh, yeah. We got it. Perfect. This is a long bow. I harvested the tree, cut it into a stave. Here, you want to put that on Ooh. just in case. Bowers. Dried it, and then. Uh, so you made this? I made it. He made this. He made that out of a tree that he cut down from Mother Earth. Hickory. Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> dude, I feel, Whatever like, cast I feel cast. like Legolas. And you have my bow. I think there's only one way to do this. I, I think, think we got right. I think we got to launch it. I think you're right, it. dude. See, we got to launch it off the dirt pile. Dirt that pile. Way, if it catches a thermal. thermal or something, maybe we can even do some slope soaring off the dirt pile. Yes, dude. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, All right, we up the firepower. Version two glider. It's not going to get any better than this. So I think this is a, a legit test of whether or not the aeroplane is feasible. So without further ado, I'd like to officially establish a challenge to everyone out there watching in the community. I officially challenge you to the bow and aeroplane build off distance challenge. Yes. We'll get a, a rough estimate of how far this is. <laughs> and if exactly you can right beat me. it, we'll get you some Skittles. <laughs> hey, I feel like this is, okay, can I just have a prediction real quick? My yeah. prediction is when you, when this thing It's gonna shoved, hurt my hand? I well, think so. That way here. <laughs> Dude, stop it. My prediction is that when you launch that thing and the amount of... <laughs> stop, stop sneezing. God. <laughs> <laughs> the, the amount of force, I'm just seeing servos, wings, batteries just ripping oh, out. Oh, you this. shut up, shut <laughs> your mouth right now. This is gonna be great. 
All right, I'm ready. All right, here we go. I'm going a little bit this way because I can feel breeze and I can see the flags in the distance. All right, I got it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> It went up above us, behind did us, a touch and, and then did a touch and go, <laughs> and flew. That, that was, was pretty good. That was epic. All right, so next time, Jeremy. So like, and hold. So when you let go, the bow doesn't fly with the plane. So the only thing is like, I, I see that. You kick me in the face. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> like you're gonna need to get down a little bit lower, but I think yeah. it could work. Yeah, yeah. I think it could work. Yeah. This is from the movie Hero. <laughs> That's how they shot their bows. I'll go get the plane. Thanks, Jay. Careful! <laughs> he, just, he just walks off the edge of a mountain! <laughs> I can tell, that's rubble! If I would have done that, I would have toppled down there yeah, and done damage to dead. myself. All right, make a bow and arrow plane, but don't do this at home. You can do <laughs> some of the other stuff, but don't, this particular part, don't try it at home. This is for a trained, a trained professional. Oh, smelly foot nice in the hands. face. <laughs> All right, you ready, dude? This is it. This is the one. Three, two, one, go! Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! We did it go! Yes! 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 Ducks fly together! Yes! We won the Hunger Games! Oh, dude, that was amazing! That was epic! Dude, I didn't even get hurt! I thought for sure I was gonna bleed or something. I thought his head was gonna pop off. Yeah. Alright, here's what we'll do. We'll calculate, we'll get GPS coordinates going, and we'll get an, uh, a, an exact distance traveled, and we'll put it right here. We challenge you guys to make a bone arrow plane, and you gotta crush that distance. I know yes. you guys can do it. I mean, if I had any success at all, that means that every single one of you guys are gonna be able to do it and have 100%. a ton of fun doing it. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. We got like chair planes, we got bow and arrow planes, we got what other kind of planes? Multi-wing planes. Multi-wing planes. We got crazy planes. We got planes, planes for days. See you next time. Subscribe. <laughs>